Bilbao, the capital of Spain's Basque country, has a deeply idiosyncratic culture. From their separatist sentiment to their unique language, it's a part of Spain, yet completely unique. Unsurprisingly, this bleeds into their football as well. As a beacon for the Basque people, Athletic Bilbao have come to fly the region's flag in Spain. One of the most singular facets of the club is their Basque-only player policy. It's an aspect of the club that operates both in the realm of identity and economy, with multifaceted repercussions in each. Although their philosophy has evolved greatly in its cultural significance, the origin was actually very banal and born out of practicality. In the 1911 Copa del Rey, the club were accused of fielding ineligible players. Offended by this charge, they decided that their name wouldn't be dragged through the muck again, and thus decided upon their Basque-only or players formed locally signing policy to avoid any further confusion. At the heart of Athletic Bilbao's policy is their academy in Lezama, responsible for churning out over 85% of their players, and despite oscillating results, it has made them the only side in La Liga besides Real Madrid and Barcelona never to have been relegated. The academy is recognised by its iconic arches, an architectural carryover from their iconic former ground, San Mames. The iconic training complex is never short of players, despite the rule. The academy begins a bit later than most, at the under-10s level, but last year boasted around 1,500 nine-year-olds coming to train at that entry point. Getting to this stage begins at the Los Rojiblancos' brother clubs from the Biscay area and a network of trusted scouts who understand the culture and requirements for a young player coming to Lazama. How young talent develops off the field is as important as on it. Sporting director Jose Amorotu is as interested in a player's values as their technical ability, especially in the early stages of footballing development. Kids will have roles and responsibilities as soon as they enter the building, whether it's sorting the kit, cleaning the dressing room or carrying equipment, there's a rota. The teaching of consistent values throughout their system creates a uniform culture whereby peers act as a check and balance. The club is part of Amorotu's DNA, just like most of the other coaches. Having had a successful stint as a player and youth and full team coach, he's gained a generational vantage point aiding his understanding of overseeing the evolution of the club, but also respecting the deep-rooted tradition in what makes Athletic Club unique in global football. On the effects of the policy, Amorotu said, We have a culture here, an identity. It's our job to create good people as well as good players, and nobody does that like we do. Family is everything for Basque people, and we want to do right by our own people. There's no greater sense of pride for a boy than playing football for this club. However, critics are quick to point out that the club may be being held back by their stubborn adherence to their historical model. Fellow Basque side Real Sociedad had a similar rule up until 1989, but decided to relax it in order to be more competitive by signing Irish international John Aldridge from Liverpool. The efficacy of this move is questionable, with their greater success actually coming in the years before the policy was relaxed. With claims of discrimination also waged against Athletic Bilbao, they have been quick to wave off the suggestion, instead focusing on its holistic appeal as part of Basque cultural expression, as well as a sort of last stand against globalization's eroding effects on a football club's identity. It's not about Basque superiority, rather about perpetuating an identity. Around 76% of fans said they'd rather relegation than relax the tradition. In other words, fans are happy to accept inferiority as long as this cornerstone of Basque culture remains. Despite the positive spin, the club were still the last in La Liga to field a black player, Jonas Romelio, in 2011, and it wasn't until 2015 that they finally had a black goalscorer, Iñaki Williams. This is in large part due to the lack of multiculturalism in the Basque country and larger Spain demographics. When Romelio played his first game for Athletic Bilbao, Spain had only ever fielded five black players. Not being an official part of the club's laws and rulings, the definition has been outlined by its practice over the years and has transformed over time through societal change and different club presidents. Sometimes confusion and disagreements have arisen over certain players. Players born in the Basque country but raised elsewhere are eligible, as was the case with Vicente Lizarazu, who signed from Bordeaux and had spent his youth playing at the French side. Those not born in the Basque country are still eligible to play on two conditions. They have Basque parentage, or have spent a considerable time in the region's academies or canteras. How long exactly isn't clear. Antoine Griezmann, born in Macon in the east of France, was linked with the club in 2012. The crux of his eligibility boiled down to his youth spent in Real Sociedad's ranks. He arrived at the club and studied there, yet his link was perceived as too tenuous by many in Bilbao. Yes, he was formed locally, but apparently not enough. Most recently, Romanian left-back Christian Ganea signed from Romanian club FC Vitora Constanta, despite, like Griezmann, having no familial ties to the Basque country. 
His claim comes from his time spent in the youth system of the Basque side Basconia, despite playing most of his professional career back in his own country. Their policy also has implications in the transfer market for outgoing sales. Given that the club won't spend incoming fees outside of the Basque country's borders, there's very little to tempt them into settling for anything less than the player's release clause. Recently, Chelsea found out their bargaining powers the hard way. Goalkeeper Kepa Aria Balaya was set to move to Real Madrid in the mid-season market for £18 million, but a smart contract extension netted his club an astonishing £72 million. This strict adherence, or some may say stubbornness, also worked in their favour with Manchester United's purchase of Ander Herrera and their city rival signing of Emmerich Laporte. For many at the club, victory doesn't just come from cups, but from seeing their homegrown talent run out on the field. That their tradition sustains in a sport so sensitive to change is testament to its power. The strong anti-globalisation message resonates around the footballing world, and the fiercely patriotic club, regardless of results, often draw near sell-out crowds. As much as an example of what a club can be, Bilbao are similarly a minor highlighting of what other clubs are becoming, corporate, faceless entities with very little connection to their increasingly alienated fan base. With the Basque policy, Athletic Bilbao should never have this problem.